come and say hi. Come. Oh, my man, to, to tell hi. The world. The world. Uh, the world is watching me. Mm. See? Hi. But nobody can see you. Where do you want I to stand here? See? Here, yeah, like this. Yes. Hi. <laughs> hi. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is my channel. I'm about to make a video. Okay. It's your channel. Mm. Personal channel. Yeah. Hi. 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 Guys, let's dentist diaries i hope you're all doing fabulous thank you for clicking on my video <laughs> um just like it from now because i'm telling you you're gonna like this video so basically i'm about to leave kenya very soon and so i just wanted to make this quick yes quick <laughs> little video about like the top 10 things i found very strange or interesting as well while being here and there's so many things like I really wanted to do while I was here. Like I wanted to visit the Maasai. It's a certain tribe. I've seen people go just like how they jump, <laughs> how they dress. And there's another, I think it's more modern. <laughs> it looks literally like a desert. There's, I wanted to visit that place. And let me just say, I really enjoyed like filming everything about my life while being here and for that i've gotten a lot of subscribers from kenya so thank you thank you very much and stick around stick around because you know we're just gonna keep touring and i will be starting my internship very soon so no more dentist related stuff just my life in general i just hope you guys stick around for more inspiration more laughs everything all here for it so Click that like button from right now, subscribe from right now, and share it with somebody, okay? Now let's get into the There's a party. Yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, guys, that completely blew my mind is generally about the matatus. And if you keep up with me, you've heard me talk about my tattoos in a lot of my videos. However, I didn't go in depth about how they operate. Let me just say this. You know, it's a typical thing for, you know, drivers in general to tell you like, you know, in back home we say one already, one already. Here, they don't tell you nothing. The buses are just there and they look full. You think you're just going to go in and go about your business, but nah. -uh. There are professional seat holders. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what they call them here, but me call them professional seat holders. Like people are literally just sitting down, and then someone will come, a passenger will come onto the road. They'll be thinking like it's too full, let me get out. But then you're like, ah, you just see people start standing, like sit here, telling them to take that seat. They're professional seat holders. That thing was like, people really have time for this. Like this is your job, professional seat holder like it's a play, play with people mind but another thing is that the fare changes based on the weather the weather and also the time of the day oh, there are birds guys i'm sitting outside so there are birds everywhere so as may said the fare changes based on the time of the day and the weather so the first time i noticed this is that normally whenever i take when i just came like in january february and i would take a bus it would be like from point A to point B, a hundred. And then while I was in the bus, it just that that the rain just came down crazy, crazy. Like there was crazy rain. And I gave the guy the hundred and then he was just looking at me like, you know, like I'm one, like I'm shortening him. And then he's like, it's raining. I'm like, so what if I was only traveling with a hundred shillings in my bag? You understand? I'm, I don't, but I'm saying like, what if? And then the rain, I can't control the rain. <laughs> The fair literally doubles and the time of the day pertaining to like whether there'll be traffic or not. So like I could be going into town where there's no traffic and for example I'd pay I don't know if fifty is a lie. Fifty or a hundred, but then if I'm but then at the same time those coming from town would pay two hundred. Me and Billy. <laughs> I hope I say it properly. I'm just trying to speak the language, but 
that that weird to me it weird bad and i've shown i'll put some clips of some very hype buses apparently you know what it's like a part of their culture here so they have famous people like decorate like i don't know what you say like, decorated all over these buses and so on and what you'll find happen is that when these people visit the country i've been told that they even request for that particular matter to, to go and pick them from the airport you know i know i've actually even seen cardi b post about one of them here she put on put on her instagram i think so it's a big thing like they take pride in my tattoos moving on to the crazy. second thing let me look so fun fact fun fact that i learned while i was here is that the equator passes through only 13 countries and kenya is one of them so they say like when you visit kenya you can actually say that you've been to one of the highest places on the planet so <laughs> not that it was on my list but i'm like okay that's cool so what you find happening is that being on the equator they say you you'll experience the fastest rates of like sunrise and sunset another interesting thing about this country particularly in a county they call machacos is that there's a certain hill where there's no gravitational force so that like, you'll see water being poured on the hill and instead of it running down the hill, it runs up the hill. So you know, because it's Africa, like there's so many people who say it's Oriya and Voodoo and stuff, but up till today they're saying scientists have no explanation for it. But I find it very cool. Actually, even I've seen where a car is put in neutral, they're recording showing that the man's foot isn't on gas or anything, and the car goes uphill. I'm gonna I'm put it there for you guys to see. I just found that so crazy <laughs> i find it so crazy the great thing about this country for me is that the world's largest game reserve in a large city the only game reserve my bad is in is here in the city that i'm at nairobi and i find that very crazy for, if you don't know what's a game reserve it's just a certain area allocated to protect animals such as the hyenas cheetahs lions if you follow me on instagram I think, did I put it on Instagram or WhatsApp? I don't care, but follow me on Instagram either ways. I was, we were driving, I don't remember where we were going. <laughs> I think we are heading to like Nakuru or something. And uh, we saw a dead hyena on the road. I'm like, so hyenas are out here? Um, I mean, at least, thank God there's lockdown and curfew. Nobody was out there, but it seems it got hit by a car or something. And it was just there dead in the road. I was like, I mean, I've seen zebras on the road and stuff, but not hyenas. I've done like I, I didn't even get a clip of it guys because I was very shocked that there are hyenas on the road because oh yeah that's where I was getting to so with with the um this is the only place where there's such an area in a city this Nairobi is the largest city in Kenya people always even my grandfather was talking to the other day and he was like you know sitting while and my aunt my aunt is always like make the lion eat you know? <laughs> All of that, and I never really found it as, found it as a problem. But now that I'm thinking about it, and I've been searching it, I'm like, that is crazy. Like it's in the city. This entire reserve is in the city. Um, that's just crazy to me. But I've been told, like in the past, they've had to kill lions and stuff to protect the people living here, the residents, and that now park rangers they attach some. It's like trackers on the animals while they're in the park so that they can know once they're crossing the border so as to protect the residents. So that's pretty cool. There's also a place called Masai Mara, guys. But if you want to experience like the wild wildebeest migration, and for those of you who don't know what that is, there is the largest animal migration in the world. Can you imagine that? Every year, more than 2 million animals, and these include like the wildebeest, zebra, gazelle. They migrate in a clockwise direction across ecosystems of Tanzania and the Masai Mara. It literally has a coast to a beautiful coast called Mombasa. It's the second largest city here in Kenya and it is beautiful. It's definitely a tourist attraction. In Nairobi alone, in just the city, there is more than 3.5 million people living here. And what's the population of Jamaica? <laughs> It's not even 3 million or maybe it's close but it's not 3 million I was like there are more than 70 languages here I don't speak like 
it's it's just crazy i'm gonna talk about salams you know i before when i knew i was coming i knew i had to visit the slums did i visit yes i did but i did not record so everyone whenever i go i'm told to put away everything so i wanted to go out and play and film something i wanted to share i mean i'm a content creator that's what i want to do that's what i do that's what i love to do one of the things i love to do and i was told just pretty much not but i'm like it's broad daylight are people going to really come and take an ipad a big ipad in a group of people they're like try it so i never tried <laughs> one of the things there that i really want to visit is those houses made from mud guys they are cool cool in the sense like i'm very hot right now like it's i'm on the shade but it's really hot now but once you step in that house cool <laughs> you don't even need air conditioning it's really cool and just to see how these people are content and happy and i've actually met someone who made it like you know good for himself and he told me he grew up in the sun so you know and that's what i just want to talk about they're very people think the country is just poor it's, it's huge see i'm telling you that the city alone and i'm in it's has its population is more than even jamaica so i mean there's a lot of business thing you know Hmm. So there are a lot of extremes. I've been to beautiful places, homes a lot of y'all can't afford. Next, I want to talk about food. Food, 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 food. You know, that's my gist. So for me, no, no, what's I got me? I'm going to steam me back. I swear. I'm sweet and I'm going to protect myself. I have to protect. I want to talk about garden. You'd think, oh, it's poor people alone that eats you know that thing but no it's rich for anybody the ugali is for everybody to be honest it cup when i came here it's not the first that i had it you know i have a lot of friends from all over the world at school i first had it i call it i think they call it i can't remember what zambians call it in shima in shima so i had it there and i remember she was my housemate but at the time we were just living on the same floor when we were on dorms and you know i remember when she cooked that and chicken and it, i was the only non-zambian there in the room and i remember when i first got it i was there like where's the fork and everybody was laughing um i think i did end up eating with a fork and i also remember i was so hungry i was like this is too small and they were like okay it's too small huh and they were like, if you want more, there's more. So I ate, and guys were to study. Ay, ay, ay. When I woke up, it was the next day. <laughs> that thing knocked me out. <laughs> knocked me out completely. So you see, like, how we would eat our boiled on plains or rice or whatever. Ogali is staple food here. I want to do a video making it and giving Kenyans to try it. Because... You know, I've been practicing or whatever. I, I, I can do it. I, I cut it like a little pie. They just do pew, pew. <laughs> And then... You, you don't want to eat for the rest of the week. I'm telling you. In terms of meat, I've been told that only... Chicken is mostly for rich people. <laughs> but you know, back home, it's so common for us to eat chicken, 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 chicken. Whether you fry it, you brown stew it, you curry it. As long as it's chicken, right? But here, it's more like beef. Like they do more of the beef. But for chicken, what people eat is that the common ones that, you know, they say they go around and eat whatever. Then you see them run, chase it, catch it, then they cook that. They cook that chicken. Yeah. You have to cook it long or it got tough. <laughs> um, but in terms of fruits, like people ask me, yeah, we have it. They have it all here too, like from papas, pineapples, apples, oranges, all that good stuff. It's it's Africa. Last two, I left things that you will not find on the internet. Listen, like things are hella strange sometimes. Let me give the first example, like introducing yourself, right? You know, let me see. Back home, I go to someone's place. You know, they're like, who are you? I'll say, oh, hi, I'm Tiffonia. Nice to meet you. That's it. The rest, you will know once you get to know me as time goes on. But here, hey, Jesus. 
especially if you go to like the auntie's place like the old folks they're gonna be like who are you who are you to him <laughs> or who are you to her whoever you know is related that you're going who are you who are you related to um why are you here how long have you been here everything like those are you married or you know but that one it didn't really take me back as it would for people who you know are completely strange to the culture because when i just started going to church in china which most members are from different african countries i remember being asked if i'm in a relationship that's when i was like we in church but it's just so common i realize in their culture because even since be being here everybody asks me if i'm married am i dating i mean sometimes i'm even walking on the road and i guess i look like a kid i don't know and a guy told me like schools are opening back now go back to school if you don't want to go to school go get married and have kids aren't you married what are you you know personal stuff i asked here <laughs> and sometimes i mean for me i'm okay but for other people i think it might be a little little uncomfortable but for me i'm okay another thing is as we're talking about family members and stuff what i've noticed here is that one person can have uh, 10 grandparents <laughs> <laughs> please do not unsubscribe <laughs> but guys and you know even when i find proof on google and i'm like okay google how many grandparents you can have google how many you know and they don't believe i feel like tradition is so embedded it's like anybody old is your grandparents from what i've listen don't come out blame the people i'm associating myself with because Anybody that's older, they call a grandparent or you know, mid range, you say uncle or your aunt, stuff like that. Because then I get confused. I'm like, I have five grandfathers, <laughs> but yeah, that I find completely strange. I mean, they don't use grand aunts, grand, they don't do it. Everybody's a grandfather, yeah. everybody's like so and so on. For the last thing, <laughs> I saved the best for last, guys. I want to talk about. My lip them I wanna talk about Dory Dory <laughs> I learned about Dory in 2015. Those who know know <laughs> Um It's like if you're about to get married to a girl the man's family has to give the, the girl's family something and different countries have different um traditions i guess because i have some Ghanaian friends and one of my friends his sister was getting married and he was so excited like years before they just got married recently but then he was telling me like he's like excited to know what he gonna get from his sister's fiance stuff like that so i guess they give to the siblings to my hair i just know like they'd give the girl's family calls he's back hi <laughs> They'd give cows money. I don't know. I've seen in one country someone got a car and it varies based on the lady's education, especially if she's like a doctor or so on. I guess they'll give more. But to me, you feel like, yeah, sell your daughter, you know? But when I say that, the feedback, has get, feedback I get is that they're saying, like, once they do that, the girl can't just decide to, like, yo, get up and leave. He does feel like he owns her. I don't really know how I feel about that, but I mean, I wouldn't mind giving my mother some cow to keep her company. <laughs> uh, speaking on marriage, this wasn't on my list. I have uh, so many more things I want to say, but I want to keep it short as possible. What I wanted to say is about marriage. Like, it's like, um, what they call it? Bad luck? What you mm -hmm. Put it in the comment. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, it's like bad luck to divorce. So even like if people ask me about my family, even from China, they find it very strange when I'm like, oh no, I don't live with my father. My parents aren't together. Or, I remember when I had to actually write um, an essay for a scholarship competition. They called me to the off office saying they don't understand what I'm writing because it's so strange for them, especially here. Everybody has their mother and father, regardless of how bad a situation may be. Which I, that's a whole other discussion I want to have. Regardless of how bad the situation is, they stay together. It's like you just don't divorce. So, 
I like the dory. I like the dory, but that might be a problem, you know, stemming from doing dory. Cause hella, get up and leave if you're not okay. I mean, you think you're making the kids life by staying together better? But who am I? <laughs> I'm not married. <laughs> I mean, I won't get into that. We all will have our own different opinions. Comment below and let me know how you feel about it. I mean, there's no right or wrong, really. It's just your opinion. It's your life. You do what makes you happy. I'm just telling you what I've learned since I've been here and what I find strange or interesting and so on. So, stay tuned. If you want to know the big news I have coming, you have to subscribe. Click on the notification bell right there so you will be notified when I post. Anyways, guys, I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't know what else to say. I'm not like to them sit down something here. I'm going to go out with beatings. <laughs>